So in this video, we'll uh, go through an ISET bio live script to illustrate how to compute cone mosaic photocurrent responses in the presence of fixation alignments. Uh, previously, in another tutorial, we've used a live script to show how to compute the cone mosaic uh, photoisomerizations for each cone from a scene, and we didn't use eye movements in that example, which just set all the positions to be the same. So here we're going to both generate fixational eye movement path and show how to compute photocurrent in addition to isomerizations. So this script is the uh, in the ISET bio live script directory. You'll need ISET bio on your MATLAB path. And um, this particular one is called ls underscore cone photocurrents from scene on display. And it builds on, as I say, the uh, uh, live scripts we've reviewed in other videos, particularly the one that computes the uh, mosaic cone isomerizations. So uh, the first step is to create an ISET bio scene, and we've done exactly this before. Uh, the parameters here may be a little different, but the idea is the same. So we've got a little Gabor patch represented here as an RGB image, and here as uh, individual planes of uh, spectral radiance. I'm going to close those because we don't really need to see that. And then we're going to uh, generate a uh, optical image object that has a human wavefront, typical human wavefront aberrated optics and chromatic aberration. We're going to compute the retinal image from the scene. And then we're going to create a cone mosaic uh, to do our calculations with. That takes a little while. And while that computes, um, let's just look at what's going to happen next. Um, we're going to use our uh, algorithm for fixational eye movements, which is described in a, a paper by Nicholas Kateras, uh, and uh, Fred Rieke, Brian Wandell, and myself that um, will use a little algorithm to model both fixational drift and uh, microsychotic eye movements. And uh, that paper is forthcoming in the Journal of Vision as of uh, July 2020. And uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll generate uh, 60 eye positions, each for the five millisecond integration time that we built into our cone mosaic object. So total time that will be simulated when we generate a sequence here will be 300 milliseconds long. And then we'll just generate these eye fixation sequences. And uh, it might be worth a while just seeing what you get when you do that. We have two sequences. This is going to just plot the first one. It's going to plot it over sort of a little cartoon representation of the cone mosaic. And so you can see the eye drifting here in time as, uh, as, as time goes on. Here are the X and Y positions, X and red, Y and blue, again, as time goes on. So this is a spatial view where you can see the path in two dimensions. And this is two uh, one-dimensional views, the X and the Y, as a function of time. And you can just see the eye drifting around there. There isn't a fixi fixational micro saccade here. Uh, if we went on longer, we would probably see one. OK, so that's the eye movement path, easy to generate. And now what we want to do is just compute using that. And here we'll compute 16 noisy instances for the same eye movement path. We'll just use the first path. And uh, so we create 16 copies of that um, in a little MATLAB variable. And then we uh, just use the uh, compute method here on the mosaic, as we did to get photo isomerizations. But we set the current flag to true, and we pass this path where um, positions actually are varying. And we did all the zeros in the earlier video and tutorial. So we'll do that. It takes a little while because it's got to compute out the, um, the uh, photocurrent uh, for each cone at each time position. And then when it's done, what we'll do is visualize the result. OK, now it's done. So we can visualize the um, first with the isomerizations. And uh, here we see the mosaic. And we see, uh, basically, uh, one time instance of where uh, the isomerizations, where that is, and a little, uh, I guess, blow up of that. And then we see um, <coughs> the a little uh, path here across, across where all 16 instances for some L, M, and S cones. So we see the variability, which in this case, there's variability at each time point. The eye movement path is the same, so that's the Poisson noise. And then the variation over time that's more systematic is due to the fact that the eye is drifting around. So we have that. Um, you can also see for just one cone what happens. You get uh, 16 individual traces. And again, the Poisson noise uh, at each time point 
uh, every five milliseconds produces some variability, and then the actual systematic eye movement drift, which is repeated here, uh, gives the rest. That's another view with the same kind of variability. And then we can visualize what happens when we go to the photocurrent. The photocurrent acts, provides both gain control and some temporal integration. And so one of the things that happens in the photocurrent is that we see um, here that the variability or, or the modulation is reduced, and that's because in the photocurrent there's, as I say, uh, integration of about 50 milliseconds over time, which is uh, uh, essentially blurring out the image because each individual point uh, is, uh, is, is convolved with this temporal impulse response function. So here's the photoisomerizations and the overall effect of drift there, and that's actually smoothed out quite a bit. In this case, also the limiting noise is uh, different. It's no longer Poisson noise uh, at the photocurrent stage, but there's noise from the phototransduction process that, uh, and the gain control that uh, together give a different SNR at the photocurrent output. So that's um, how you do this kind of stuff in ISET Bio, and we'll stop there.